so uh so what's shaking john how's it going buddy uh you know um, first of all welcome to to literally my world and thank you so much straight up for taking the time out of your day to uh really focus on you know you at the end of the day because you know you reached out a couple of days ago and you had a couple of questions and hey what's uh you know what's your your mentorship what's your your coaching what what is this all about uh if you want to kind of just first of all before we get into all that because at the end of the day this is all about you and and to to know that today you took your mindset from where you were you posted a video in our actual mentorship program and you had tremendous results i think it's an amazing story to share uh, but let's first of all tell us a little bit about you your background even before what you do uh, tell us a little bit about you uh, so I used to be uh, res I, I just started working with Cox communications I, I used to be in sales um, in the retail environment for approximately 10 years um, okay. I worked I started with uh, Circuit City before they uh, laid me off and the company went under um, I was in the computer sales um, and uh, I was making commission there until they got rid of commission um, and they, they laid me off. So I went uh, over across the street to Best Buy. Um, I was doing sales there and I was crushing it. I was like one of the top reps. Um, and in the Northeast, it's always known to be like a really uh, big area for sales. So they were always like in the top and I was always in the top rankings where they would give us trips and everything. Yeah. Um, Best Buy had a, a problem with their you know finances at the time. They, they definitely bounce back now, uh, um, you know, currently, but, it, uh, you know, seven years ago, they were having problems with finances, so they couldn't afford to pay me the hourly that I was getting, so they offered me a severance package, or like, or like $15 less than what I was making, which I couldn't, you know, take. So I, um, I looked and looked, and I found a job with AT&T Wireless, AT&T selling cell phones. Nice. Um, they started um, selling home security. I know you did home security. Oh, yeah. um, so we have value people were just like why are you talking to me about home security or you, this is a cell phone store so that was tough but i was i was the top dog doing that then they acquired direct tv so i was selling not only cell phones but home security um and of course um tv services which was tough because it was a satellite dish and a lot of people hated the sound of that but i was still successful at it at&t also decided to basically buy everybody in the world so they, you know, like they're buying all these other companies like Time Warner. So they they just couldn't afford to to keep up with the commissions. My, I used to make a, a good four thousand dollars average commission because I was a top dog there. Per, and then they just per what? Sorry to interfere. So no, no worries. Um, every month, every month it was like a four thousand dollar commission plus my hourly because I worked in retail. Yeah. Um, and now the average went down to one thousand, and I heard because I have a friend that still works there. I heard it's it's even less. It's like a thousand. So, long story short, um, I couldn't afford um, to, to live off that because I was so used to those $4,000 commission checks. And then I just I just called one of my friends. He's worked for Cox for a long time. I know you mentioned you used to work for Cox. Was that in Phoenix? Yeah, no, it was in California. Uh, I actually sold uh, a couple of uh, idols that I had growing up in Canada. Uh, MacGyver actually sold his mom's house. And uh, she goes, yeah, he's always here every now and then. Uh, but then also Keither Sutherland, we sold him as well in Cox. And uh, the big thing out there was Verizon was the only uh, company that was hooked up to the side of the house. And I'm not sure if that's the same with, uh, with the neighborhoods you're at. But, uh, you know, our big thing was, hey, how do you like Verizon? And also, if now you had a second box on the side of your house, which is Cox, guess what that, that basically opens up? Choice now for you. Would you like to have choice or would you like the monopoly to just be, you know, over here? Of course, along those lines, uh, you know, it's building that relationship up with the customer. But yeah, that's uh, that's that what, that's what I was doing. Yeah, to answer your question, um, it's only Verizon out here as well. Yeah. So when I go to the customer's home, they they used to, have, um, I, it's a list of on my iPad, which I posted in my video today in the live feed, yes. um, list of, um, of homes that um, start off as a uh, light pink and then you can turn it into yellow which means not home uh, a darker yellow means not home second attempt mm -hmm. um, not interested because they just told you to get the F off the property or I'm not interested I have whatever the case is and of course blue is interested yeah. um, and yes they they always seem to have both boxes um, both the Cox and the Verizon box on the side of the house so um, that's, that's, that's what I got to deal with. And, um, you know, I joined Cox because, uh, 
because I was really good at selling TV. Shoot, if I could sell a satellite dish to put on your beautiful home, yeah. I'm pretty sure Fox Communications and their home security, which um, luckily Verizon doesn't do. Um, and I think it's a great value, you know. I actually was on the streets today, and you know what I noticed? I noticed nothing security signs left and right. And I asked that person I sold to today, hey, let me ask you something. How come you don't have home security? Everybody else has it here. And that's how I sold him on the home security. He actually told me that he was broken into. Wow. But because he had, a, he had a huge German Shepherd, they actually ran, they left. Even though, believe it or not, the German Shepherd would have not attacked. It is the sweetest dog. I was scared shitless, by the way. I'm sorry yeah. for the friend. <laughs> yeah, no, you're fine. I, I just saw the thing from the kitchen. I thought I was dead for sure because the, the old the gentleman was like kind of far away from me. Yeah. So I had that instinct to run, but luckily I didn't because that would have been awkward. But the German Shepherd was actually the nicest dog ever. Yeah. And um, luckily it scared away that, that, that person who tried to break in. So now the customer gets that peace of mind when he goes away that not only is the dog safe, yeah. but he's home safe, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, so at the end of the day, like here's, here's sales wrapped up in a nutshell. You have people who come to uh, start a sales career. See, I, again, I, my brain goes all over the place. I'm like, well, there's, there's people who want to do sales. They want to try sales out. So those people are not even going into sales for a career. The real true people who are jumping in the, the real entrepreneurs who are tr jumping into sales need to understand whatever you're selling you have to stick behind the products and services. Why? Because at the end of the day, what you just mentioned to me, like what's running through my veins is somebody who's actually gotten broken into and you have a product and service like home security, for example, or also somebody who's at the other side, who's got a dog, has a family and they want cable or they want what you have to offer. You're ultimately looking to lock and engage with that person so you can show them exactly what it would mean to have what you are offering. Now, at the end of the day, obviously the price has to be right, but nobody's going to want to hear what they're going to have to pay for what you're going to have if they don't see any value, any set. Like if I were to acquire John's, you know, what he has to offer, what is it going to ultimately mean to me? And in order to become a good salesperson, it's not necessarily, and when I say a good salesperson, again, I'm talking to somebody who's going to do this long term and build a career and build offices and build multiple branches. You got to understand how to properly sell. There are people who can go in there and lie, cheat and steal. And uh, sometimes even on my YouTube channel, I'll get people like customers, like I mean, talking random homeowners, and I should say customers, but random homeowners saying, you guys are all scum and shady and yada, yada, yada. BS, okay? I understand there's a lot of people out there where all they have on their mind is to make money. And all they have on their mind is to say whatever the freak they got to say to get a sale. That's not a true yeah. salesperson. That's not somebody right. who lasts long. So at the end of the day, you got to, if you're a normal, and I say normal human being that cares about others, but you stick behind the products and services, what we can do together is learn the sales process, how to actually progress and interact so that I can say ultimately at the end of the day, like you did today, hey, Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so, you have a home? I don't want to sell you this product or service. I want to show you ultimately what it will do for you. And if, because yeah. remember you sold yourself, John, right? So at the end of the day, you sold yourself in on why somebody should have this. And I want to show you what it will mean for you to actually have this in your house. So then they're looking at it like, wait a second. Yeah, my dog is a deterrent. That's awesome. And by the way, I had a half shepherd, half Akita, amazing dog. He was vicious as heck. Um, but still at the end of the day, security was something that we needed. Why? Because when he's outside of the house, what if somebody were to come in? See, the odds right. of it happening are low, right? Chances are, I mean, he's going to be outside and somebody's going to break in at that time are low. But guess what? To have that peace of mind for me personally, it makes sense. But if somebody showed up at my door and was like, hey, how's it going? You know, my name is so-and-so and this is what I'm doing. And would you like to buy an alarm system? And I'm like, well, okay, uh, uh, you know what? I don't even want to ask. See, the, the, the customers are, the, these potential customers they're not going to dig you for answers of uh, what it is you're selling. We as top level athlete salespeople have to dig the customer to find out whether or not they can benefit. And that's the, the disconnect that a lot of salespeople see. Uh, so what you did today with that master plan inside your mind and that motivation to go out there and, and lock with the customer and progress forward was you were willing to stand with that person and show them 
what it would mean to have your products and services. And they said, you know what? I actually trust and like this guy. So I'm, if I trust them and like him, I'm going to talk to him and want to do business with this person if he has the right offer. You had the right offer. You were aligned. You got out of bed. You pumped yourself up. You came in the mentorship program and you were surrounded with a community of like-minded people to go out there and make it happen. But at the end of the day, you made it happen, brother. And I'm super excited for that. So Thank you. yeah, yeah. Sorry to ramble, but um, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, uh, to, 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 uh, uh, to sit, talk, give my little two cents in there. I want to see if the feed is uh, people are commenting or whatnot. So we can go after, but yeah, yeah. Um, so, so you're in sales, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, like uh, I bottom of my heart, really, I want to pass this to you uh, from a level of one to 10, one being the least, 10 being the most, how true and passionate are you about sales in general, whatever it is you're gonna sell that you're passionate about? Like how, how sincere and honest do you believe that? You know what, sales is for you, John. How, how sincere are you from one to 10, 10 being the most? I mean, realistically, I would say I'm a 10. Oh, yeah. um, like, I'm sorry, realistically, I'm a nine, yeah. but, I, but I feel like a 10 because, um, I don't stop selling. Like it could be, I could be at a restaurant. I was actually out last night uh, at for dinner for a for my cut uh, my wife's cousin's twenty uh, eighth birthday. Beautiful. And hey guys, what do you have for cable TV? Yeah. <laughs> right, just naturally, yeah, yeah. It it really is, and you know what? I've been like that for a very long time. Um, I used to work in the marketing field too. I, I didn't mention that. I used to do the nightlife club promoting scene when I was in. 20s and um you know i'm a, I'm a very sociable um personable person like i can get along with anyone mean happy angry and nothing turns me away i just i just kind of like was crumpling my first week door to door because i didn't know what to say yeah. it wasn't that nervous i just i didn't i i think i um i led too much with asking people for just their name their email and then i was like hey i'll forward you the details and guess what? I had 40 leads. You know what I mean, Paul? 40 and not not, a, not one was closed. But then I changed my mentality. I, I, I built a sense of, I, I created a sense of urgency for these customers. I told them, look, I'm in the neighborhood. I just set up the Smith is next door. And I want to offer you the same deal, exclusive deal that you can only get through me that I gave to them. How about I set you up right now? What do you got now with Verizon? I know you have Verizon. Let me let me let me come in and, and discuss you know some options with you because I want to help you out and or or you know I, I kind of freestyled it today to be honest yeah. I think I, I felt like uh, like I had my mentality saying hey I want to I want to treat these people like this they're like my my actual neighbor like hey what's oh, up How you? touching let me, brother. Let touching sorry sorry I get emotional with that touching okay sorry yes yes you got it yes brother you have it you have what it's taken to continue to progress and move forward. Sorry to cut you off, but go ahead, go ahead. No, so like without a doubt, I mean, I, I went, I'm, I'm gonna say a week strong, like I went hard. I was doing 10 to four and I, and I mean, I, I already told you, right? I got 40 leads. Yeah. Tell me, leads even emailed me back. I emailed best, most perfectly written email to spark interest where I'm shocked that they didn't even get back to ask me like a question, never Correct. mind. So yes, I'll take it. Sounds amazing. Yeah. So it's like you know what? I'm not. You're, you're on my time. I'm not on your time. Let me let me let you know what I have. And if you're not interested, you know it's it, it's you're crazy not to take advantage of this offer. I, I show the confidence now, and I'm really passionate about the product. Like you, like I, you know, tell and I've I've told you. Yeah. And you know what? I really know for a fact that it's better than the Verizon product. Yeah. It's a, I I come across a customer that has had higher than 25 megabytes per second internet, which blows my mind. Yeah. It's 2015. Yeah. What the F are you doing on a 25 megs per second? I know. You know, like our internet speed started at 150 and that's for the bronze bundle. We have a bronze, a silver, and a, and a, and a gold. And they're all incredibly priced and it blows my mind that they're paying, get this, more money for less TV quality yeah. and less internet speeds and they don't even use the home phone and now they security and that's why i'm so passionate and i think that's oh, why father. i sorry yeah. alley today and it blows my mind that i sold too i'm, I'm like i'm like yeah. lost, lost for words i can't even describe yes it. brother yes christmas is around brother, the corner you have a I, family and uh yeah I that's, just, that's, that's money i want I'm, 
I want to start a family, and I do want to buy a single family home. Yeah. Um, dude, I love cars too. I already own a nice car. Yeah. Um, because luckily I I invest in properties. I I make some nice residual income from my properties. Yeah. But that's that's just you know that's an investment. Yeah. I want to make the money now. I want to use my talent in sales, but door to door, and that's why I need your help. And I need everyone help. And I appreciate everyone who responded. Honestly, you guys are amazing. Um, I I never thought I'd, I'd pay for this kind of service, but you know what? It's worth every penny, and and I and I can sense your passion. You are so energized. Like you, you could probably be. It could be like five in the morning. You probably got more power than the energizer bunny. Like I could tell you. It was four a.m. yesterday, and uh, I'm going on about now four hours, three and a half hours of sleep. Uh, from yesterday, and uh, today we closed a large account in the United States uh, with uh, my software company. It actually is is going to generate unreal revenue already. Um, I'm telling you, brother, from the bottom of my heart, the one thing I've really learned in sales is it's not about being a a, a s uh, sly sales guy to to get a deal or or to to con somebody into which I've never done. But um, it's more along the lines of really understanding, picking, being selective with what you want to sell because you stick behind it and going after that product and service to bring it to that potential customer. And one thing uh, I noticed that you mentioned was you have it easy you with, with, with Verizon giving less data and being more expensive. That's a no-brainer sale. That's something that when you're talking already about me that I would personally be passionate about selling. Why would you, Mr. Homeowner on the other side, pay more for less, okay? I understand why you'll reject me and tell me you don't want to do business with me right when I knock on your door because ultimately you don't understand that if we were to switch out what you have right now with what we basically have, that you would see uh, ultimately increased speeds in your, your, your downloads. Uh, you'll see more HD channels. Your bill will be reduced by a little bit. And on top of it, you'll have me as your personal rep in case anything ever happens that I can come out and obviously, you know, be a buddy, be a friend. Uh, so it's a win-win situation. So therefore, what you sell is 100% something that you can scale. And uh, to actually learn, master that art of communication with your potential customer and bring it that equal passion that you have for it and bring it to other salespeople to possibly build a team underneath you if they basically allow that, obviously, in your, in your company or your organization or what you want to do to grow and, and just prosper and learn that communication skill. Hey, Paul. Yes, sir. I got a question for you, bud. Yeah. So um, you know how I, I joined the mastery uh, course video course program. Yes. Uh, not the free one because I actually met you through the podcast, the free podcast. Oh, thank you for letting me know. Okay. The podcast, by the way, um, the first person that I was introduced to, it wasn't someone through a podcast. It was through a book. It was. Um, have you heard of Lenny Gray's Door to Door Millionaire? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Went on a, um, I went on a trip to Phoenix, so the flight from Boston to Phoenix was because uh, that's where the Cox um, Training Center is. Yes. And it's, it's call centers in, like I guess, of all Phoenix, Arizona, um, in the state of Arizona. And I was there for a week for training, so the flight was a long flight, so I decided, you know what, let me, let me get, get a book. And I listened to that book on the way there and on the way back, completed it both ways. Wow. Um, it was an audio book, and um, I learned a lot from that too, but your podcast... It's like it, it hit me. Like it hit me. Like if, like if you were my best friend and I understood you and and you had the perfect slang and like versus the other guy, he 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 didn't hit me. It didn't hit home for me. It was great. There was some important things, but your podcast was great. And then I know you kept pushing this, you know, the 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 real one. So I, I kind of skipped the podcast and went straight to it. Um. So my question for you, right? Yes, yes please. I'm twenty percent into that program and I love it. By the way. Thank you. I, Honestly, um, I, I got into that program two days ago, and yesterday is when I joined your group, um, the Facebook group, and, you, and you know, everybody saw, you know, I introduced myself, and today I posted the video, but my question about that video, I noticed that you, um, and I think it was the, in the opener section, module two, I believe, okay. or three, Yeah. you met, and that's what I remember, that you, and that's how I know that you said you work for Cox, right? Yes. You said you work for the cable companies, but you didn't mention Cox, so that yeah. I asked you. You mentioned something about Verizon, and you mentioned something about curiosity, and you mentioned something about, and I did this, and it, it didn't work for me. Maybe I was doing it wrong. You told me to step back, yes. and like you're looking at a tree. Yes. You're looking at. Yes. So what I did was 
I was looking at a, at the wiring of the poles, you know, yes. the people did open the door. Yes. But when I talked to them, um, I did use that line you, you recommended, the line where you're like, hey, uh, we upgraded your box, you know, um, something, something. I forget. I don't use it anymore. Yeah, but, not, yeah sorry. For, but for, it didn't first, help. First, first things first, I have to stop you to, 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 intro, uh, to, to educate you on one, uh, uh, one main factor there. Uh, when you knock on the actual door and you're, you're talking to a potential customer, uh, it's important, obviously, the, the level of excitement that you have at the door. You got to bottle it up and hold that strength. So when you're looking down um, at, the, at the actual property or whatever, your main goal, your main focus is to not sound like a typical salesperson. Uh, so they're coming out with curiosity to the door. Now, I'm talking curiosity, not necessarily a good curiosity. They're, they, they have a curiosity of a big question mark. Who the heck is this person at my door? Is it my brother? Oh, it might be my brother. Is it my sister? Is it that package I'm waiting from my Amazon order? Is it a salesperson? Is it a person who's selling me religion? You already have their curiosity. So what happens is when they actually open the door and you're looking down, they're, they, they look at you and they're like, can I help you? And you're not like sounding like the typical salesperson. Hi, how's it going? My name is so-and-so and this is what I'm doing. It aligns with what your goal is in your opener pitch, which is to create that curiosity. Okay, it's not to, to lie, trick, or steal, or any of that stuff. It's really just about keeping, maintaining that curiosity through your your seven to ten, you know, seconds that we have at the actual door to build that. Oh, looks like I, I might have lost you there. Oh, there sorry. Right. Yeah, no worries. Uh, but you have that seven to ten seconds to actually build that curiosity with that customer, so it carries over. Yes. And I don't say we already have the box on the side because remember, in your case, you don't have that box on the side of the house. So, um, hey, I just want to, because you already know information about them. I don't bring up my name right away and my company. Why? To maintain that curiosity. Hey, here with the cable company, is Cox a cable company? Let me ask you that, John. Yeah, of course. They're, exactly. they're the, is that a lie? The, is that a lie? No, no. So you're not lying. So remember, build that self-esteem and confidence within yourself. You're coming prepared. That's how you build confidence by coming prepared. You have that confidence to go out there and say, Hey, just here with the cable company. Um, by the way, I noticed with a lot of your neighbors too, they mentioned that you have the box on the side of your house with Verizon, correct? Now they're like, Oh, okay. So, so, uh, did, uh what's uh, yeah. Verizon. Yeah. We have Verizon. Yep. What we're, and then boom, go into it from there. Hey, do you mind? I know, I know, in the live video that you did. Um, and by the way, like I, like I, what I was saying was, I, I, I used that, but I didn't do it right, like you, like you just said. Um, but do you mind if we do some type of like role play, like you did with the live, and, and I, and I use what I use today? Yeah. Like I, I, I think, I think it's not perfect. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. it, it, the, the opposite of what you're telling me to do because I kind of did tell them that I worked for Cox right away. Um, but it worked. Um, but let me know what you think. Like, yes. I don't know how you want to. One last thing I wanted to point out before, which is so vital. Uh, you mentioned something that scares me again, as your mentor, I'm going to be difficult on you. You step into an I MMA, uh, arena with me, uh, the rink, uh, you know, if I push you down and you get back up and say, Paul, that hurts. You know, I'm not going to say, Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Get back up. I'll be softer on you. I want to train you to, to fight Conor McGregor. So we're going to have to obviously train. Now I'm not talking on doors fighting physically. I'm just relating it. Right? So you mentioned something that, that, uh, we need to correct really quick. You tried it once and it didn't quite work out for you. So understand that if you go to the gym and you want to get in shape or let's just say you toxified your body by eating McDonald's for the last 18 years and you start juicing just one time, uh, you can't say it didn't work for you. You can't knock you. You got to build momentum and learn how to mirror it to you by trying it over and over and over again so that you feel comfortable inside your skin, inside your mind about what it is you're doing now with your new pitch and new approach. It does work. We just got to, got to tailor it to you. And hence why you came here right now and said, do you mind if I pitch? So this is the process. So when you go out tomorrow, don't just try it one or two times and say, it didn't work. See you later. I'm going to try something else. Uh, you have to yeah. give it about a week of constantly grinding with it. So you'll tailor it to you so that you feel comfortable saying it. Got it? Got it. Yeah. Sweet. Yes. Yes. So let's do that. Um, let's just say you knock on my door and I'll stop you in between two and correct you and kind of go from there and go back and forth. 
and then um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll go from there. So let's just say uh, yeah. So you knock on my door, you ring my doorbell. Oh, go ahead. Do you have a? Uh, just real quick. Um, yes. I don't know if you can fix this. It's okay if you can't. But when I look at my computer screen, yeah, I only see your chair. But when I look at the live feed on, and that's why if you notice, I've been looking down. I don't know if it's just. I'm not. I'm paying attention. It's yeah. just I'm looking. I'm actually seeing you on my phone, but I don't see you through my 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 computer screen. Does uh, that make sense? Gotcha. Yeah, I gotta switch the. Uh, let me switch really quick something for you here. Let's see if I could do it live. Uh, there we go. Sorry, you should see it now. I didn't know that. No worry. Perfect. Got it. Got Sorry it. Sorry about that. I was. Uh, and everybody, I'm pretty sure they can see that. I'm also recording. Yeah. I'm also recording this uh, locally, so. We'll better it. Um, did, 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 did. So now it's there. Yeah. So everything's everything's working up there. I got you. I want to see you. That's why I'm. Amen. You know, like it. You're you're the star of the show. That's for sure. And let me get uh, the glass board back up. Boom. Boost that up. Let's do this. Okay. So now I'm back over here. Sorry. This is how it was the whole time. But uh, I tried switching it over. Okay. So um, yeah. Absolutely. Let's let's go with it. So I have Verizon right now. Okay. So I want to basically. Uh, educate on the process. I have something that I'm happy with. It's not necessarily I'm unhappy. I mean, I get by with it. I mean, I like it. I watch my hockey games on it, which by the way, the Boston Bruins uh, in the background there needs to go and replace it. <laughs> Just joking. Okay, so you knock on my door and let's see how it goes from there. And uh, yeah, so make sure when you knock, you actually do stand far. Of course, this is a little video, but you stand as far as possible and you start looking. Never be the first one to answer even if they answer they open the door and they stay quiet never be you want to obviously keep looking can i help you oh yeah so go like that okay okay so you recommend that they always say hello always never be the first person to talk never uh because in subconsciously it shows signs of desperate uh you're 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 there to try and again you have your permits to be out there you're legally allowed so when you knock on that door and they come out some people want to be pricks they do right they want to open the door and like what if what they I mean? don't say, say what if they don't say what if they don't say anything don't say then keep looking i'll i'll, I'll do this Wow, I, I, I never thought of that. I mean, if it works, it works. I it just works, you. it works. Build that <laughs> confidence. What happens is now internally, you're like, I'm here to, for a mission. I don't settle for a second best. I'm not settling for second best. When I knock in that door, I'm here to present. You got to build inside you. You're there to give them. Remember, you're there to save the money and give them a better product and service. Why wouldn't you be in control of this situation, right? That's very important to, to know. And by the way, everybody who's on the feed, I see it kind of dropping out and whatnot. I have a recording. I'll upload this, the actual live local recording, so you can watch the video without any interruptions, um, if it's interrupting and dropping. But um, yeah, so so let's get started with that. Okay, perfect. So knock, knock. Yeah, can I help you? Hey, I'm John. I'm with Cox Communication. Ah, I just, I stop, just... stop, stop. You said your name and you said uh, who you're with. Like, no curiosity. Okay. John Cox oh. communicate. Yeah. So what I what I what I wanted, and I know that that's that's what I said. I it's said okay. that. It's okay. We're gonna it, correct it. it. What I did today, it was successful with two people in a matter of one hour. Keep in mind, I'm not saying it's not gonna work. I'm just teaching you how to be a professional at this, uh, to where you'll get five. Dude, I sold ten alarm sales in a day. Not no word of a lie. Full all activations, everything. Um, and I'm just teaching you the the skill set to 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 excel. To where you're not just that one a day. One a day is, I say that so that people realistically can say that's realistic for me to get there. You know, just like today, I want to get you to literally five, ten a day. Um, so in Cox, I was doing about eight to uh, ten a day consistently with that. So we'll get you there. Um, so don't say, don't say who you're with. Look around. And then once they say, yeah, can I help you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you own this property, right? Being assertive, okay? Uh, and then I'm only saying be assertive to start. But as time progresses, you can then break down and be a little bit more yourself. Dude, that's a really nice car. I'm very personable as time progresses. So we're going to work on the opener pitch right now, and uh, let's let's go through that. Okay, perfect. So, knock, knock. Hey, yeah, can I help you? Hey, yeah, I was just at the Smiths next door. I noticed you have Verizon. How are you doing today? Oh, 
Oh, oh very good. Very good. Thank you. Uh, dismiss. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good neighbors. Awesome. Awesome. So the reason why I'm here is um, I just hooked them up with one of the best packages that my, uh, my company offers, and I want to be able to give you the same discounted rate. And I have three spots available for next week. And I want to make sure that I fill them out um, before the night um, ends because I'm going to be going throughout the whole neighborhood offering that. I want to make sure you take advantage of the same deal. Um, how's, how's Verizon? What, how are they doing? I mean, it's pretty good. I, I have it. Um, yep. I, I don't see any. Yep. any I mean, we don't have any issues with them. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, the, um, a lot of my neighbors have actually been switching from Verizon to Cox. They've been having a lot of issues with the internet being slow and their bill going up because their two-year contract's up. Um, how, uh, are you still in contract with Verizon? I don't believe so. We we signed a three-year contract, and uh, we're I think I believe we're out. We're actually out of a contract. Okay, perfect. Did you notice your bill go up at all? Uh, yeah, it did. It went up by I think 20, 20 bucks a month, something like that. You you wouldn't happen to have a bill with you, would you? No, I my wife takes care of that. I have no clue. Sorry. No problem. Do you mind if I come in? Um, I can actually look at your bill and compare um, and show you exactly what I can do. And the reason why I'm asking, um, you know, if, is because we actually offer a better, faster internet rate, a better TV system. Take a look. This is my remote. And I, I hand it to the customer. So I'm, you're holding the remote. See this remote right here? If you press this microphone right here, you can tell it what, what, what's the weather tomorrow. We, use, we have the weather channel. We don't have actual weather like Verizon. We got the weather channel. It's the best channel for the weather. If you want to know your traffic, if you want to know even your horoscope, you can use this mic. But the best part is that you can use that mic to say CNN. You never have to remember a channel. And that's what I can give you. And I know I can give you the best deal. Um, and that's what, I, that's what I'm proud of. Um, that's why I'm here. Okay. So a couple things I want to correct uh, with, what, with your approach. Uh, first of all, you're doing a great job. You're, you sound confident. You sound enthusiastic, which is wonderful. And you're very trust looking and you sound trustworthy, which is great. So those are, you have no problems with, uh, a couple things. You're being too salesy. Uh, Hey, I got, you know, three packages left and we're going to, those are good, but you're using them in the wrong, at the wrong time in your timeline of your sale. Okay. So your start and your finish is over here. You're using it actually in the wrong time frame. So right when you, you, you knocked on my door, hey, I'm with uh, Cox, and you started talking about, um, you know, I got this awesome package. We set up the neighbors. Right away, I knew you're a salesperson. So subconsciously inside my mind, I started being like, what does this sales guy have to offer? What is he selling? You piqued my interest. You're doing more of the talking. You are engaging with me quite, quite a bit uh, by asking some questions, but you're, you need to see. In sales, what you need to do is this. There's two different types of graphs. There's a value graph, and then there's also a price graph. If I'm gonna acquire what you have to offer, my the value in what you're offering has to outweigh the price that I'm gonna pay inside my mind, okay? It needs to make sense to me how much, uh, what am I gonna get, right? That's this one, what am I gonna get? And then attach it to what I'm gonna pay. But the problem is, if you sound like a salesperson, even though you're explaining your last year, your, your cox is way better than me and yada, 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 unfortunately, I'm not seeing this value because I'm not listening. So what you're saying isn't making sense. So therefore, this isn't working, uh, gr growing. And instead, when you attach a price, I'm going to be like, ah, the price. And then also, I'm going to start thinking of the headaches of switching and canceling and making the wrong decision. And so we have to literally look at what the process is from start to finish why somebody would all your features why somebody would want to do business with you faster internet uh simple installation free installation quick uh um, you know more hd channels you know basically what you sell all your different features so before saying this we have a wonderful offer for you and this is amazing i need you to go to engage with them by saying hey you own the property here right um, you, were you the person who was here again, general and to start, were you the person who was here when they installed that box on the side of your house or was what, when you, when you moved into the house, was that box installed on the side of your house? Uh, no, that was, it was there. And, uh, so just to, just so I understand, cause I talked to a couple of your neighbors and by the way, I don't know if you know, miss, uh, Stevenson, we were just finished uh, talking with them and that uh, we actually helped them and let me show you this really quick. Now, also, by the way, your internet package, do you use a lot of internet? 
See, what you're doing is you're building this value. So hold on, are, are you selling me this uh, this product or service? Well, no, typically salespeople come by and they just try to force people to acquire what they, no, my goal is to find out if that box on the side of this house would actually benefit you more. And if you do decide, then um, you, know, you can definitely take a look at the packages, which by the way, I'm assuming right now, and if you know, this helps a lot. I'm assuming right now uh, with through Verizon, aren't you paying like 170, 130? Yeah, it's about there. Okay, with us, I mean, it's not. It's a little bit less, so you do save money. And the reason why is because remember, this is what you get, and this is why you gotta attach stuff. People just talk from their mouth, but they don't attach stuff. Like, yeah, we're gonna give you this, and you're gonna get that, and you're gonna get this. Do you want to do business with me? No, we're going to do this because our technicians are out here and because we do such massive volume, you're able to get this. And by the way, because we know that they're a competitor and they own the market out here, our introductory offer to you and then also to maintain, which means you get this. And they're like, oh, that dude, that's now I want to hear more. So I want to see if I can benefit from this, right? So you have that lock and engagement with them. And they're like, so, so wait a second. Now they're curious people who shadow me. They always go, dude, that's BS. Like, like they came to you to look at what you want to offer. It's because I didn't focus on sounding so like, oh, this is super awesome. Super cool. Instead, I honed in on, listen, what I have to offer. Let me show it to you. And then you see the value in it. So I got to keep shooting my ammo. And if they're like, wait a second. So you guys have 152 HC channels. Well, yeah, don't just go. Yeah, dude, absolutely. And wag your tail, do the opposite. And they'll respect you more like this. Yeah, we have 152 channels that, that may be great, but to be quite honest, we might not be the best for you because perhaps the channel that you like watching is not an HD. What do you typically watch? Uh, I watch NHL center ice and uh, NFL football package. Uh, let me show you right here. Yes, they actually are. Now they feel like they won. So it's like, um, oh, wait a second. Yes, that is. And oh, actually, as a matter of fact, I do know that is. Let me just show you. So yes, it is. So not only are you saving, but yes, that is. Yes, that is. By the way, my wife loves to watch the History Channel. Does yours? You guys are much? Okay. So, and if you know Verizon, I'm just giving an example, isn't HD for history. If you now ever want to watch history, here you go. Have you ever now with the bigger demand, do you use much internet? If they're like, nah, dude, I, I just AOL online, uh, you know, is good enough for me. That's not your hot buttons. You don't want to touch upon it. It's good to know that, you know, you, if you ever do want to stream or your kids grow up and, you know, they start streaming because a lot of times people don't notice that. How many kids do you have? You know, we have four, four kids. Do they all have an iPad that streams the internet? Okay. Have you ever seen it cutting out or they're complaining that it's slow? With us, our speed start at, and now, not necessarily because you don't have to pay extra for it, but guess what? Now they can stream. And by the way, if you want to have eight more kids, it will still not, you know, crack a joke. You, uh, you have how many kids? Okay, cool. Um, let me show you something, by the way. Come over here. Now engage with them. Take them to the side of the house. Show them a box. Or It all depends. As a matter of fact, your box inside, um, which Verizon one did they give? Like, Do you know the model number? Do you mind if we take a look at it? Let's get inside. So, so like that, and you don't, I'm talking fast, obviously, because we're limited time right now, but um, I take it really slow. I brew them up. I spend a lot of time with one person because I'm certain that if they're communicating with me, it's a no brainer for them to do business with me. Uh, and that's why anybody who's ever done a demo with my software, Phil Quick, I take an hour, an hour and a half, because I know at the end of the day, they're, when they're at the end, they're going to be like, where do I sign? Where do I join? You know, I'm confident with that decision. So because again, I stick behind what I have to offer and I know all the reasons why somebody would want to switch from what they're using to our product or service that we're selling. What about closing? How do you close? Cause that was, that was your beginning and your middle, correct? Yes. Okay. So, so now I have you to where you're like, dude, you know what? Honestly, um, yeah. So I, I did notice it cut out. And, uh, so you're telling me first of all that, uh, I'm currently paying 175 and now it's going to be a little bit less. You said 150, but I'm going to get that. But what's the process to, to switch? Okay. Um, this is the catch. I have to be honest with you. Uh, we literally have to lift your house up and underneath we got it. I'm, I'm playing with you. No, there's, it's actually, you'd laugh. Um, we schedule our technicians. They're going to be out here by the way, tomorrow or whatever you, you, you say next week. And they're going to be doing this. The process is super simple. Um, and as a matter of fact, here, check this out. Uh, do you mind if I just sit at your table so I can just show you something really quick? Why? You're sitting down at your table. This is where people do business, not just standing up and hoping they're going to say yes. Get to a table. Um, so you're like, do you mind if I actually show you something? Again, you got to create curiosity. Do you mind if I actually show you something really neat? Go ahead. Well, 
sales. They were inside. <coughs> Both sales were inside the house. Yes, brother. Yes. Yeah. And then now get to a table as you can. And when you get to a table, remember what you mentioned, which I loved what you said. And it touched my heart. I was talking to these people like they're my brother or sister. They're my friend. They're my family. When you get to that table, don't whip the binder out, whip the contract out. All right. You're here to get screwed into a 40 year contract. The feeling you're, you're here to get screwed. No, be like, you know what? This is actually something that's really neat. I want to show you, show them a picture of, or here, do you mind if I grab that? Uh, let me show you something else on this to ease up the tension when you're sitting there. These are advanced things that once your confidence is at an all time high, you're sitting down there and you're like, here, let me, let me first of all, check out for if, when we can get this installed, you're writing up paperwork. That's it. So my, the way I close is basically with confidence. So, um, having said that you're going to get this, you're going to get that. This is how it's going to. So can you see yourself? If we were to actually, if you were to have everything that I just said, would you guys see yourself and your family benefiting from this? Oh, absolutely. No, 100%. Perfect. So, um, let me just do this really quick. What, when is the best time for you to be here tomorrow? Um, so whoa, is it, does this mean we're doing it? Um, absolutely. See to, to secure that prop that did it to secure that installation or whatever your reason is. Yeah. We're going to be doing these out here tomorrow and, uh, any other questions that you may have. So yeah, well, well hold on, hold on. Um, what do I, some say yes and they go through really quick, but some still have a couple questions brewing in their mind. So, so what do I do with my Verizon account then? Oh, no problem. And then you go into it. You know what you do with the Verizon account. Uh, please, by all means, any questions you have, you know, feel free to ask me. Does that make sense? Yes. Do you have any other questions? Uh, no, that's it. So tomorrow they're going to come do this and all I'm going to pay is that. And this is what I'm going to get. That's right. Yeah. Let me start off with your first name. Boom. Go into it. So three things, right? Um, first and most important, uh, before I forget, Paul, is um, nine, I'm going to have to say, and I'm only been, I've only been in the field for a week and a half. 99% of my customers have both boxes installed, Cox and Verizon. So I noticed you mentioned we'll get you that hour box installed. They usually leave it side by side. They don't like when Verizon comes, they don't take this box and then just leave the Verizon. They usually leave both. So how do I approach that? And two, you know how you said, um, well, I said I, I treat everyone like my brothers, my neighbors. Yeah. When I walk um, like the gentleman I sold to today, I love his dogs. Like that's the most beautiful dog I've ever seen. That's a German Shepherd, huh? That's like that. That's like a class dog, right? That's the best of the best. You yes. know, I mean, like, like I value his time and, and, and I love his dog. And the lady, she had an elf on the shelf, uh, an elf on the shelf, and it was hanging on the on the what is in the curtains. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. My family does that. You got kids or grandkids? And she's like, yeah, I got grandkids. I'm like, they must they must love that. You know, I didn't even get into this, the pitch or anything or try to close it. I was just getting comfortable. And you can tell that both those people definitely got comfortable with that. Um, and then third, I want to ask you, um, you know how you said if you have any other questions. The lady had a question because she knew her contract was up in a year. And she was like, "Is uh, I don't know what my cancellation fee is because um, I know there is one. And I told her the beautiful thing about Cox is that we don't do contracts anymore. That's how confident we are with our service. You're in control. If you don't like us, which I highly doubt, you could leave any time. That's, that's how you know a company is so good that they won't even put a contract in it. Yes. And you know what? I loved it. Yes. She didn't even know about the cancellation fee. She was like, ah, just do it. Yes. Sign me up. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. That's like with my, my company. I, if you have the right product and service, why would somebody want to leave? That's what I always tell them. So with us, we don't have a, a contract. Um, and that's why at the end of the day, it's like, it's a no brainer too, as well. We're confident in our product and service. We don't have to hold you to a contract, hoping that you're going to, you know, uh, stick with us. And if you don't, we're going to try to stiff you and people like that freedom, that flexibility. Um, as for those other questions, I hate to do this to you, but I really have to go into a meeting right now. Like literally I'm getting bombarded. We will do another coaching call. Also though, the bright side of reason why this is obviously not to be all done in one. I want you to start implementing what you learned today. I'm going to upload the video, rewatch it, please. Um, but take down notes and then also implement this and, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's get those exact same results and start increasing the bar over the week. Uh, I know it's a Christmas time is right around the corner, but congratulations for seriously your success brother. And so far going out there and mastering it like literally today. Now carry that over for the next day. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. God You're bless you. God bless you too, brother. Like seriously, Bye. from the bottom of my heart, my family's to yours. Take care, brother. Hey. We'll, we'll talk to you soon. All hey, right. Bye-bye.